Um, so what I'm going to talk to you about now is, is how to tablet your cat. And that's something that you may need to do regularly for things like worming tablets, or you may need to obviously give courses of tablets if your pet's unwell. Um, and this is something that, that all owners find really difficult, and there's lots out there um, about advice about how to give tablets, and it's something that, that can be really tricky. You've got to remember that cats have got sharp teeth, sharp claws, and that cat bites and scratches can be quite nasty. So you've got to be really careful to make sure that you don't get injured in the process. But obviously giving tablets is an important thing for your pet especially if they're unwell so you know it is something to, to try and do you can try and smuggle tablets in with food but that can be a bit hit and miss and obviously if you've got more than one pet that can be difficult so it is more certain that you've got the right dose into your pet if you can administer the tablet straight into their mouth um, so we're going to show you how to do that with Ollie who is very well behaved um, but hopefully you know this is something that you can try and do at home the best thing to do at home is to get your cat up onto a table so they're up a little bit out of their comfort zone and they're a bit easier to handle when they're on the table um, and if you've got somebody that can help you with holding the cat then that makes things a lot safer so the best thing to do is to ask your assistant to hold the cat's body um, and use both of their arms to, to hold the legs nice and tightly in and then you can see how Gemma's got her fingers around the front of his legs here and that will stop him from lifting those legs up and trying to scratch while we're giving him the tablet and you can keep quite a firm hold around the front of the legs you're not going to hurt those legs and it'll help to keep everybody safe so the next thing to do is to pick up your tablet and hold it between your thumb and forefinger um, so you've got a nice secure hold on it and if you've got nice oval shaped tablets obviously you can make sure that they're going down in the most comfortable way you want to then hold your cat across the top of the head. Now you've got a nice thick skull here that you can hold onto really quite firmly. So don't be frightened to have a nice firm hold across the top of the head. And I'm coping my, my finger and thumb here across the top of his jaw. And you, as I say, you can hold quite securely across those bones of his head there. What you want to try and do next is tip the head upwards so that the nose is pointing up towards the ceiling. And you can see already there, look, his mouth's just starting to come open a little bit as you move that head up into an upright position. Now, with your finger f fingers firmly holding the tablet, the next trick is to try and open the mouth further. And I use my middle finger just on the incisor teeth, so that's between those big, sharp, pointy teeth at the front. Just open up the mouth. And then you can use that open mouth to drop the tablet so that it drops down through to the back of the throat there. And you're using gravity to help you get it right back into the mouth there, into the right place. Never be tempted to try and poke the tablet in with your fingers, especially through the sides here, because look, that's where all those really sharp teeth are and you could get bitten. So try and get everything through the front there and dropping the tablet in so it goes down with gravity. After you've given the tablet in, you then want to return the head to a normal position and using your hand there, just hold the mouth closed so that they can't start to spit the tablet out. And then you can just massage the throat gently here as well while holding the mouth closed to try and encourage them to swallow. And you'll see a big gulp, hopefully, as if the tablet's got to the back of the throat and you know then that the dose has gone down. Cats will start to get quite distressed and salivate if they can taste the tablet. So getting it right to the back of that throat by dropping it through with gravity is the best way to try and make sure it goes down in one go. If you're finding it difficult to give your cat the tablet, then there are some other things that you can do to try and help. One is wrapping your cat up in a big towel, which can help to keep their claws out of the way. So if you place a big towel on the desk and, and pop your cat in the middle, try and ask him to lie down if you can, and then wrap the towel up safely around his body so you've got him cuddled up nicely into that towel there. And that's going to keep all of the legs nicely out of the way and be a bit less worrying about getting scratched. And then it's a bit easier to hold the body firmly. And the other thing that can be very useful um, is to use a pill popper, um, which are little plastic devices that you can use to dose the tablet to the back of the throat to make it more likely that the cats will swallow the tablet. Uh, so you pop the tablet into the end of the pill popper and there's a plunger inside that you can use to, to push the tablet out when it's in the right position. Um, so you hold the top of the head as we did before, lifting the head up. Again, the mouth will start to come open. And then using the pill popper, you can use that to deliver the tablet right to the back of the throat and plunge the tablet down. And then you deliver the tablet to where the, the swallowing reflex should be initiated and the cat's much more likely to swallow the tablet then without too much distress being caused. And it's obviously nice and safe for your fingers as well. Just to summarize the key points, put the cat up on a table because she can be held more safely there and ask someone to hold the legs really tightly. Use your hand to hold the top of the head firmly, you won't hurt her. Use gravity to drop the tablet down to the back of her throat and remember don't ever put your fingers inside the mouth or you might get bitten.